My name is Hannah and my name is Peggy and we welcome you to share a slice of our French lives. I love this sign. It says, Hello, when? <laughs> to the left, 50 meters. There's a little neighborhood that we cut through, and each year there's a man that has a beautiful, beautiful flower garden, and he sells pumpkins. And look. Oh, man. Beautiful. And we turned around because I want you to see the beautiful pumpkins, the beautiful pumpkins that this one man grows and he sells them each year in October for Halloween. Just look. Oh, that is just awesome. Poire du coq. Coloquin. I don't know, but it's great. And here's another product that Normandy grows really well, are leeks. And there are miles and miles and miles. I have my window closed because there's so much wind. Miles and miles of pretty leeks. And the little yellow flowers, those are colza. this it's either potatoes or sugar beets ah it's sugar beets field and we are gleaning the little teeny tiny potatoes and the track the farmers are harvesting their potatoes so we're gonna have a little a bucket of new potatoes well we've just finished gleaning the potatoes and it makes me 
think of the famous painting by Jean-Francois Millet, The Gleaners, of women after the wheat harvest who go around and pick up the teeny tiny grains of wheat. Well, I think the, pom the potatoes, the patate, or the pomme de terre, it's a little bit easier. Well, thank you farmers. And in France, it's totally legal, and it's very nice of the farmers. After they've dug up their potatoes, people can go and find, you know, pick just the little potatoes that the farmers don't harvest. And they're nice new potatoes, and it's, I think it's, it's wonderful of our, our farmers. A nice little harvest. I can't believe that all those potatoes will go to waste. It's something about being outside in the fields and really looking at all the, the hard work that the farmers do to put food on our table. I, I really have a lot of respect and uh, bravo for our farmers. Peggy's just telling me about uh, one of her classes that she's going to do. She teaches at the university and she's just talking to me about an interesting article. Peggy, could you repeat that for me? What? She's gonna, she's planning out a lesson to do with uh, some students of hers who are technically oriented. So Peggy, what is this article about and what is your idea for this class? Yeah, I would really like the students to be able to present a robot that has been helping people who have been trying to fight this coronavirus. And I think that for them it's going to be interesting. So, so, what, yep. so you mean that during this period of COVID that lots of new ideas technologically have have spurred mm -hmm. uh, the economy and have you know, yeah, creativity. And, and what I really like about that is that in this article, the lady says that uh, basically all the projects have been set up to help others. So I think that's very interesting to focus on their job and the fact that through your job, you're going to be able to help people. It's pretty good. Well, I give it my green thumb up. Actually, I don't think I, you say that in English, but I give you the thumbs up on that project. <laughs>